Monica? Uh, first, uh, I enjoyed season one, and I'm glad to see the first four episodes of season two. I want to talk to you about how your character, Jackie, deals with addiction. Like, it's, it's, it's not like you see some characters, they're fully into, like, rehab, but you see your character bouncing back and forth. Do you feel like that character gives people that are dealing with addiction hope or a reality that this is how a lot of people deal with? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think you know, the reality of it is that it's a gray area. There's no right way to get sober. There's no um, sort of formula or recipe for it. So I think that we portray that, I hope, in a, in a truthful way, where sometimes she's on top of her game and sometimes the disease takes over and that's all a part of the journey. I know like now this current new generation of actors, some of them just coming from Instagram and YouTube skits or whatever, but you're formerly trained at Juilliard. Um, do you see when a difference happens in those actors where it's like, where it's like certain levels that the, the formal training helped you be able to reach that some of these younger actors that are not getting formally trained may not, you know, get in their first couple of roles? No, not at all. I, there's no, there's no, <laughs> there's no right way to be an actor. Uh, it doesn't matter if you've had training or not. It doesn't matter if you've ever done it or if you're coming from social media or TikTok or whatever. It's completely irrelevant. It's all about if the person is able to tell a truthful story and connect to the character and connect to the text on the page. Where I come from as a trained actor is completely irrelevant because at the end of the day, if I do my job well, that's all that matters, right? It's same with everybody else, whether they've come from training or not. It's all about finding out how you can be truthful and whatever that means to you is your own process. And last question, I know you've done a lot of Broadway and have the mechanical theater group that you started. Um, I know that TV audiences, film audiences have adapted through streaming. How is theater and Broadway adapting to this pandemic audience? That's a good question. I mean, you know, theater's trying to figure it out right now. Um, how do we adapt with the pandemic? How do we bring live theater to you guys? Um, we're starting to see us sort of push the boundaries on that. We're starting to go back. Um, shows are opening back up. Um, tickets are for sale, and you're seeing theaters start to open its doors again, which is really exciting. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you.